<clears throat> so I've been promising a, a, a tutorial or like a walkthrough video for the K-Series Teardown. I guess this is it kind of finally. Um, I'm not going to do it. It's just way too much time and work and I'd have to cut and, you know, record and cut and record. So I'm just going to show you on the head real quick because the head is the only thing you really need any kind of tips for because the block itself is, is basic shit, common sense, just like any other engine block. Um, so... All right, so you got your, your rocker arm assembly and your rocker tubes. This is the thing that people always have the problems with, right? So once you take these top caps off, then you got the bottom caps. And the bottom caps are what hold the tubes and the rocker arms, right? So once you get these separated from the head, every individual piece, like, slides off. So the tubes come out, and then these caps all come off. And, uh, and when these, when these, uh, the rock arms separate, there's like a spring, a loaded spring in these now. And this one, there's more to it than because of lost motion assembly than there is the other two heads. So you don't really have to worry as much about on the other head as you do with these. Uh, but these ones on the lost motion assembly are not, uh, they're not spring loaded. So, uh, it's just a bar that's in there. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that one popping on you as much. They do slide out if you're not careful, but they don't pop out. So when most people take the heads off, uh, They'll, they'll, one of them will slide loose, one of the caps will slide loose and separate, and the spring, there's a spring in there that's loaded on like a, a hollow shaft, and that'll pop out. And if you lose that, I mean, you got some serious problems. So when you take it off, you try to squeeze it together and, and take it off as one piece. And when you and separate, you separate slowly. So the spring, when it pops out, it doesn't shoot out under tension. It just kind of eases its way out. All right, now, Putting the things back together also give you a serious pain in the ass, and I, and I found that the easiest way to do that is like um, you know, you, you get a, you get your hands on like an accordion and you squeeze them together, right? Then you turn uh, you turn the rocker arms out or upside down, and you get a really good squeeze. You don't have to kill yourself, but a, a really good squeeze on the on the uh, rocker arm assembly, and then lower it back into place. Now, when you squeeze it tight enough. It'll stop the uh, it'll stop the rocker arms from rolling back down. If it's, or if not, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're going you're gonna to try and straighten this out and put that in place, and then these are going to get caught, and then you're going to try and straighten it out and put it in place and just get caught, and then you're going to be back and forth, and next thing you know, the, the cap's going to be spreading apart, and the springs are going to be shooting out, and it's just a, it's a huge fucking headache. So you just got to be aware that this, there's springs loaded under tension here. And once you're aware of that, that's a that's a big help for first time tear down. You're like, oh, well, I know these are here. They're gonna fucking shoot out if I'm not careful and I'll lose them. All right. So that's there. So be ready for that. Ease them apart. And when you put them back together, just squeeze them real tight so the rocker arms don't roll. And then you just pop it back into place. Now um, the other thing is that you need to know about is uh, is with these um, these center bolts, right? When you go to put the center bolts back in. You might hit something, and you're thinking, what the fuck? Why won't this fucking bolt screw in? It doesn't make any fucking sense. It wasn't cross-threaded coming out. I don't understand why the other bolts are going in, this one doesn't. Well, see, it turns out that the rocker arm tubes that run through the middle, the shaft that runs through the middle, have little bolt grooves in them, have little notches in them, so you can slide the bolt past those notches into the fucking head again. But, um, so that means if you've been jostling it around too much, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna turn the tube inside and that's why you're hitting because you're hitting the tube and you're not going through the groove like you're supposed to be so what you got to do at that point is take the first cap off so you got the tube exposed and you can grab the tube and then you can adjust it to where it lines back up so you can put the bolt through so uh, yeah that's it those are the big things it's a big headache for taking apart a k-series now i said it really quick it doesn't sound like much but if you're not fucking prepared for it and you're not ready to do it and you haven't done it before and you're trying to figure out the best way it can take you a really long fucking time uh, to get it all back together. And I mean, I know what I'm doing. And I still dropped some fucking pins. Uh, and I had to dig my dig back in the head for it. And then I had to take it back apart again to fucking to adjust the tubes. Because, I, you know, it's just not paying attention. So those are the, the big things. Oh, fuck. The big things to look out for. This has been a really long day. You know, I didn't get the, the car work done that I wanted. Because it's been off and on raining all weekend. Like, it rained and then it stopped. And as soon as I decided to go outside to work. It started raining again, so that's been my fucking luck. But um, in the process, I got the Z3 head off, put in the uh, put on the stand. I used I started using my breaker bar this time to break off the head bolt, so it didn't kill me that bad. Now, supposedly this is advertised as a blown head gasket, but when I took the head gasket or when I took the head off, I looked at the gasket, and inspected it, and it didn't look like it was breached in any parts. Uh, but definitely there was cool, uh, definitely water mixed in the oil, not coolant water. Yeah, because that's what they did. And uh, I and but I did notice that when I was taking the head apart, 
there was like two of the head bolts that were kind of loose. So I'm thinking it wasn't a balloon head gasket. Somebody had probably been fucking around with this. Maybe it had a balloon head gasket before and somebody went to go replace it because the head gasket looked like a Philpro head gasket. It looked relatively new. So I think it blew a head gasket. Somebody went to replace the head gasket and they didn't torque the fucking head bolts properly. And I think that's why it was still, uh, you know, throwing all kinds of water because it was, it was a lot of water. And I, I, and two of the cylinders had flooding and, uh, had flooding in them and it was definitely uh, oily water. So usually when you have that kind of extreme, uh, that kind of extreme amount of fluid in the cylinders, uh, it's it's you know it's the head bolts not being torqued properly. I've so I've only ever seen that once before, and that was a Vitara build. Somebody did and it came to the shop, and uh, it just it, did, it was missing washers or some shit on the ARP, so it wasn't torqued down properly. Um, yeah, generally speaking, when it, when when your head gasket blows, it's I don't know. I mean, from my experience, I haven't seen cylinders flooded. Uh, I just I usually seen the oil seep through and gets into the into the coolant, but never really the other way around unless with this situation, like with head bolts being loose. So I'm gonna still I still gotta take my measurements with the straight edge. Uh, I'm not doing shit else tonight, but just from looking at things, I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure that uh that this is this is all gonna be fine and I'm gonna be able to just reuse it straight away. I'm not gonna have to worry about machining anything. Um I'll know when I get the straight edge on it. That there straight edge. Um yeah so yeah I got the K twenty four cleaned up you guys should have seen it on Instagram today. K twenty four is cleaned up uh and like the heads off blocks over there. I was gonna tear it apart tonight but it's uh two thirty in the morning is my last day off so I'm gonna try and get to bed early tonight. Yeah, and then uh, do some more work. Do some more work uh, tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and peace.